Good morning, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me on Morning Magic. My name is Rain. My channel is Spiritual Rain, and I'm in my spiritual center. <laughs> Today I have my Archangel Oracle cards. These are the back of the cards. I pulled a few today because I was, I pulled four because I was getting like a story that, that was happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm first I'm going to show you the cards and read the messages and then I'll tell you what I got from these cards as the message for the day. So the first card I pulled was Archangel Dorenka. These cards are beautiful and soothing. I love them. And Dorenka's message is hone your psychic abilities and see through illusions. The next one is Archangel Muriel. And her message is, trust your own wisdom, have faith in your psychic impressions. Then we have Archangel Samael. And Samael's message is, choose harmonious responses, act with wisdom and grace. I'm almost there. I'm going to tell you what I think of all this. And now we have Archangel Jeremiah. Or Jeremiah. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And Jeremiah's message is, learn from your challenges, relax, and trust. So, what I'm getting from this is, you might be in a situation where, and one of my friends used this term one time, but recently, where your spidey senses are going off. Maybe someone's not telling you the truth. Maybe someone's giving you lip service, right? So, trust your intuition. Trust that intuition and see past that illusion of the lip service. Okay, that's the first thing you have to do when you're in a situation like that. And the next thing you have to do is trust what you're feeling. Trust your gut instinct. Right? Your gut instinct is always right. And then the next thing you have to do in this situation is take the high road. Respond with grace and maturity. Don't react with emotion and freak out and, you know, take the high road. See past the game that they might be playing, the lip service that they might be telling you. Trust in your gut that you know something's going on and you're aware of it and then take the high road and don't fall into that game playing and don't react, respond with maturity and grace. And finally, learn from the situation. What's the lesson that you learned from this situation? You know, you have to relax and trust that everything's gonna be okay. And finally, if you need some extra help, Call on my main, my main man, Archangel Michael. Ask him to come to you and whisper some words of wisdom into your ear. He will come to you and he will tell you to soldier on. He'll tell you to pick up your bootstraps and be strong and soldier on. Be that warrior. It's hard when people give you lip service, you know. One of the things that I can't stand is when people don't communicate. Now, I do understand that sometimes people have difficulty communicating, especially when it's an uncomfortable situation and it might take them a little while to come around. And as long as they come around, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. But I'm sure we've all been through this before when you know something's going on with someone, you know? Your spidey senses are tingling. <laughs> you know that something's up. And you say, hey, what, what's wrong? Nothing. Give me a break. See past that illusion and trust your gut. You know something's wrong. You know, if they're not willing to talk to you about it, okay. Give them a little time and maybe they'll come around. Usually if it's a good friend or somebody who loves you, they will come around. But if it's someone who's... Um, maybe incapable of interacting with people on a mature level, that's when you have to be the one to take the high road and 
respond on a mature level and be graceful about it, you know? Sometimes it's not a person's fault that they can't communicate, but they never will be able to properly communicate. So you have to kind of say, all right, well, that's up to them, you know? There's nothing I can do about that. But then learn the lesson, you know? Maybe this person is repeating patterns like this a lot with you. Maybe they do this often to you and you let them off the hook a lot. Learn the lesson and move on from it. Because being stuck in a pattern where somebody is always like, what's wrong? Nothing. And they make you fish and fish and fish for information. It's not good for you. It puts you in desperation and it can be quite humiliating. I've been through it. I know. And I do call upon Archangel Michael every single day for strength. And I thank him for helping me be a warrior and to deal with challenging situations the best I can. And I'm telling you, prayer works. Prayer works. I am not a Catholic. I am a nature child. I have my own definition of what I am. But I do believe in angels and I do believe in archangels. And whenever I call them into my life to help me, I get amazing results because I truly believe in them. You can call upon Archangel Michael and say, you know, help me be a warrior, whisper some strong words into my ear. But if you don't truly believe that Archangel Michael is there to help you, it's not going to do anything for you. You have to truly believe it first. So I hope that that helps someone out there today. I hope that resonates with someone out there. Leave me a comment. I always forget to say that. Please leave me a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> there you go. I said it. Thanks so much for being here, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.